This video is the disassembly of a Honda BAXA transmission. Not all of this is super easy to see because of the camera angle, but it might help you if you're doing this. There are better, more in-depth videos to walk you through the process. I recommend this one. It's a different transmission, but they're very similar, and this video and the Helms manual is how I was able to do this project. So to start, I clean the outside a bit with the greaser, and it was really oily. Take off the range switch, speed sensors, and third clutch pressure switch. Take off the bolts holding the end cover. Give it a little tap to get the end cover off. Take off the shaft nuts. I'm not sure this would be possible without an impact. One of them is reverse threads. Take apart the park lever mechanism. The pawl came off with the cover, but it might not for you. To pull the gears off of the shafts, you either need a special tool or improvise, like I did. I used a harmonic balancer puller rented from O'Reilly's, but the bolts weren't the right size. So I made these sketchy looking things with parts from Lowe's, I'm kind of surprised that it actually worked just fine. The parking gear was the hardest to get off, but I succeeded in the end. Remove the reverse idler gear holder and shaft. You can thread a bolt in the shaft to help pull it out. Move the reverse idler gear to the side or else the transmission housing won't come off. Take off the solenoids and cooler feed tubes. Take out the housing bolts. Turn it on inside and give it a few taps to free up the main case from the torque converter housing. Pull it straight up to get it off. Tick the gears and bearings off of the counter shaft down to the shift fork. Then there's a lock washer to bend out of the way and a bolt to remove the shift fork and reverse selector counter shaft fourth gear and a needle bearing and then you can take off the main shaft and secondary shaft and the rest of the counter shaft. Next, two bolts holding the reverse servo detent bracket. Two more to remove the filter. a few feed pipes. Two bolts for the third and fourth accumulator. Whole lot of bolts. The regulator body comes off first, then the stator shaft comes out, which reveals another bolt to finish getting the servo body off. Take apart and remove the gear selector shaft. More bolts. Take off the first and second accumulator and the main valve body. Then the pump gears. To take apart the clutches, take off the snap ring and take the frictions and steels out. Look how burnt and worn my clutches were. 
Then you have to compress the spring to remove the pistons. I don't have a shop press, so I had to get a special tool for this, but it was only like 40 bucks. It pushes the spring retainers when you tighten the bolt, and then you remove the snap rings. Next is the valve bodies, which pretty much just consist of taking off the clips to get the end plugs out, which will sometimes stick in there, and then getting the valves out. Just be sure not to scratch the bores. Also got to get the snap rings on the first and second accumulators, which I forgot to record. To clean all the parts, I used mineral spirits and a plastic tote, a paintbrush and a toothbrush to scrub, and a wash bottle with clean spirits to rinse them off. Uh, Mineral spirits dries pretty slowly, and I didn't want them to get dusty, so at first I was rinsing them off with brake cleaner, but in the end, I found it better to just dry them with a hair dryer, because mineral spirits don't leave residue like the cheap brake cleaner does. Once they were dry, I coated them in ATF and put them in some plastic bags to protect them from dust and dirt. To get the old paper seals off of the cases, I used a bit of acetone and a razor blade. Probably not the best way to do it, as I could have gouged the mating surfaces, resulting in a leak, but it was the easiest way I found with the tools I had. I just had to be careful. Especially don't scratch the valve body on the torque converter housing. Then I used some scotch Brite on the mating surfaces to scuff them slightly, and washed the cases with mineral spirits, just like everything else. And I stored them in trash bags until it was time to rebuild. And that's it.